Welcome back everybody, Addison with S4 Suspension here and today we're talking about volume spacers. Before we get started adjusting our volume spacers, we want to do two things. We want to note our current air pressure of our fork and we want to clean off around our top cap here. We don't want the possibility of any dirt to fall into our stanchions. That's going to cause a big problem in the future and not something you want to have happen. What tools are you going to need for today's project? Well, you're going to need the correct volume spacers for your fork. You're going to need a shock pump, valve core remover, a socket wrench, a chamferless socket like you see here for our Fox, which I'll explain a little bit more about later. Or potentially, if you have a rock shock, you might need a cassette tool like this. And because we're tool nerds and we like them, a torque wrench. Before we get started, there are a few specifics that you're going to want to take note of. One, what type of volume spacer and how many your fork can actually accept. Two, it's going to be what size socket your top cap requires. And three, is an appropriate torque wrench that has the correct range for your top cap. You can find what torque your top cap needs to be torqued down to, that's a lot of torquing, <laughs> on your manufacturer's website, of course. Let's get this started. So first, start by removing our air cap. Remove your valve core here. I recommend doing this slowly at first. If you do it too quickly, sometimes your fork will suck in. On your top cap here, there is so little to bite on that you want a chamferless or a flat face socket. That's going to allow you to get as much bite on these wrench flats as possible. Now let's say you've got a stubborn top cap and it's relatively tight. First thing to do, make sure your valve core is out because if your valve core is still in and it's still pressurized, no amount of force is gonna get it off there and you don't want to anyways. But if you've got one that's being stubborn, what I like to do, make sure your wrench flats are fully engaged, hold the opposing side against your chest and then pull your wrench all the way in. And that's going to help you if you've got a really tight top cap. Another pro tip is always hold pressure on the very top of your ratchet, pushing down to make sure that that socket stays nice and tight on that top cap. It's gonna prevent you from slipping and damaging that top cap. That will just come off. And now you can see how our volume spaces are clicked in. If you don't have any, your top cap's gonna look like this on a Fox or potentially like this on a Rock Shock. On a Fox, they're simply going to snap into place like so. And on a rock shock, they're actually going to thread into place using the threads on these volume spacers. Oh, two different top caps, two different forks, same principle. So we have two. Today we're gonna to go to the maximum. Putting three on, take us to five. Simply drop it in. I like to start it with your hands. Make sure you're not cross threading anything. Once you've got enough threads in there that you're comfortable, go ahead and tighten it back down. Nice and tight with your regular ratchet. And then we'll move to our torque wrench. Today, we are going to 24.8 Newton meters, which is gonna be right there. This is where you're going to wanna to use that technique I was talking about earlier. So you got a little bit of leverage. Put it against your chest and then, there we go. That's it, top cap's back in place. Make sure you unspool your ratchet. You don't wanna leave a ratchet tensioned. All right, then we put our valve core back in. This does not need to be crazy tight, just nice and snug. Basically till it stops and then just a little nip. Good to go. All right, time to air up this fork. I wanna emphasize one thing while we're here. You do not need to remove your fork from your bike to do this process. Actually, you should just leave it on your bike to do your volume spacers. It's much easier, it's going to support your fork, and it's going to allow you to equalize your positive and negative chambers a little bit easier. Because whenever you're airing up or even airing down your suspension, you need to cycle your fork or your shock every 10 to 15 PSI. Let's equalize this thing real quick. One more time. All right, now we are equalized, back up to the pressure where we want to be at. Now is a vital and often forgotten about part of volume spacer adjustment. 
resetting your sag. You're going to start back from square one and set it all over again. Then make sure you reinstall your valve cap, grab your riding gear, and it's time to hit the trail. For your first few rides, make mental notes of things you like, you don't like, potentially go back and do it all over again. Continue that adjustment process until you're happy with your bike. And then, enjoy the ride. For now, I'm going to get back into the shop to continue to make your ride smoother.